Hello and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to master the art of creating eye-catching book mock-ups using Photoshop for your a content on Amazon. This skill will set you apart from the competition and boost your sales. So let's get started. Are you already using a content for all your books? If not, you should be. For further information, check out my previous video on a content. Did you know you can use mock-up images to showcase your book? You can do this the hard way by purchasing a copy of your own book and then photographing various displays of that book. Unless you are an expert photographer, these rarely look good. The easy way to do it is by using a mock-up design with parts of your book inserted. Here are some examples of mock-ups that I have designed and used in a number of my books. I would like to show you how to create these mock-ups using Photoshop and later on using Canva. If you stick around, I'll give you all the information you need where to source these mock-up files. I will even leave a copy of the one I used in this video for you to practice with. So like I said, let's get started. Now going over to A Plus Content on KDP, this is where you choose your module for your A Plus content. As I've showed you in a previous video, I like to use the 970 by 600 pixel image as it's a good size image to showcase your book. That's the size I'll be using during this tutorial. And for this tutorial, I'll be using a Photoshop PSD file which has smart objects. I'll just open that file now in Photoshop. So when the file opens, you can see that it already contains images. It contains an image of a front cover and two drawings to be coloured. This is where you showcase the contents of your book. Now on the right hand side of Photoshop, there's a section called Layers. We are only interested in changing three sections of this file and you can see them here. There's the top one here, which is the cover of the book. The next one down, which is the image on the right. And the one right at the bottom is the image on the left. And these are called smart objects. I'm going to open up the top one. And this will bring up the cover that's been provided with this file. It's just a matter of turning off these images and inserting your own. So I'm now going to choose a book cover and place that on the canvas. I'll need to resize it to fit. Before I do that, I ensure that the aspect ratio has been locked by selecting the lock button above. Then I can drag the image to fit the canvas. Once I am happy with the position, I can now close this tab and say yes when we close it, and it will now replace the mock-up with my cover. I'll now do the same for the image on the right, turn them off first, and place my image in which case I'll use a coloured in version of the egg. And I'll drag that to fit. It's fitting nice and centre. And I'll close that. Save the changes, yes. And as you can see, it's now on the right hand side. I will now edit the smart object on the left. And here I'm going to place a black and white version of the egg so I can show a before and after. Once again, I drag it out onto the size of the canvas so it fits. It might need a little bit more. I'll just see how it looks. So we'll close that and save. I think there's a little bit of a gap there, so we'll 
just adjust that slightly. Just bring that slightly out to the edge. And that should look much better. Once again, I will close and save. And there we have a mock-up of our book cover, a black and white image and a coloured in image. So now we need to change the colour setting to CMYK. RGB colour is for on-screen only and does not look the same as what we'll print. Using the CMYK mode will ensure the image we use looks like the actual printed book that the customer will receive. It will not look as bright or vibrant as using RGB. When you change to CMYK, it flattens the layers. That is why we do this last. We can then save this file as a JPEG format. We now need to create our A plus content file size, which is 970 by 600 pixels and is also a CMYK format. We then add the mock-up image to this new file size, adjust it to fit and again save as a JPEG file. This is the file we can now upload to the A plus content module. I will now upload this file into the KDP A plus content module. And that's how simple it is to create professional looking A plus content mockups of your books. Because we saved the file in the correct size, it fits into the A plus module perfectly. We give the file an image keyword and then we select add. As we can see, the image is now in the A plus content. Here you can add a headline or text. It's not necessary, but it can be added if required. I like to add a couple of images here to highlight what's inside the book. Particularly if the book has lots of interiors I'd like to showcase. If I was just showing a journal, then it's not that important as long as you are showing the main content of that journal. Now let's have a look at the Smart Mockup app provided by Canva. To use this app, you'll need the Pro version in order to remove the watermark. You can use a 30 day free Pro trial to do this. Now Canva is fairly limited with its selection of mock-ups. There are some here, but they hardly compare with what you can achieve with Photoshop. So I'll select this one here just to give you an example on how it works. Here we have a young child holding a book. So I've selected a colouring book front cover for this example and it appears, but it needs adjusting. It's a matter of dragging the file out to adjust the canvas and then save. And here we have a mock-up of a child holding a colouring book. We can save that. But once again, it's the wrong size for our A plus content. So we'll need to upload it to a file that we create in Canva the same way we did in Photoshop. So I'm going to use it now in a design with a custom size and I'm going to put in 970 by 600. Create new design. And as you can see, the image is now within that design size, but once again, it needs to be adjusted to fit the A plus content module file size of 970 by 600. Just a matter of dragging out the edges, being careful not to cut off your book, because that's the main part we're showcasing here. And once we've done that, we can then save the file upload into our A plus content module. 
So once again, going back over to our A plus content on KDP, choosing the module of 970 by 600, and then uploading the new Canva image. We'll give it a keyword and add. And there we have a Canva mock-up of a colouring book being held by a child. And that will look quite fine. You just don't have the same versatility that you would have using Photoshop. By far, Photoshop is the best way to create professional book mockups. I don't use the Canva mockups myself. There are a number of services, both free and paid, that will also do this for you. It's just a matter of doing a Google search. Fiverr is another great place to have complete mockups created for you. You can even request templates to be created in Fiverr that you can use over and over in Photoshop. I've found Creative Fabrica to have a great selection of mock-up templates for your books. These mock-ups have been created for colouring book sizes 8x5 as well as other book sizes. There is a good selection of mock-ups available through Creative Fabrica. I've provided the link to Creative Fabrica in the description below. I subscribe to Adobe Creative Cloud where you can choose which programs you would like to install including Photoshop. It's a monthly subscription of around $10. It's just a matter of subscribing to Photoshop for a month in order to create your professional mock-ups. GIMP is a free software tool that is similar to Photoshop. However, it does not work with the smart objects that I use in this tutorial. You can still use GIMP However, you would need to manually adjust each image you insert. It could be a steep learning curve. As promised, I've left a link in the description below for you to download and practice using the same file I used in this tutorial with Photoshop. This file was obtained through Creative Fabrica, so I would not recommend using it in your own content for copyright purposes. Open up your own Creative Fabrica account to take advantage of these mock-ups as well as hundreds of other creations that will assist you with your KDP journey. So this is how you create a professional looking book mock-up using Photoshop or Canva. Now you can use these types of mock-ups in your a content to showcase your book and attract more buyers. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would appreciate if you would like, comment and subscribe for more tips and tricks as this helps my channel grow. I will see you in my next video.